Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and this is going to be a super fast video. I'm going to show you how to install Max for Live patches that you download from maxforlive.com or anything like that. User-made Max patches that don't come with an installer, they just come as the Max patch file. What you're going to want to do is put that inside of your Ableton Live user folder. Now let me show you how to find where that is. Mine's in a custom area, so you're going to want to do this. You want to go to Options, Preferences, and then go to Library, and then look for the location of the user library. You can see that mine's in D, OneDrive, Ableton, User Library. Perfect. Another way to do it, you'll see that it says User Library right here. Right click, Show in Explorer. Boom, there it is. Now if you've downloaded a Max for Life audio effect, you're going to want to go into Presets, Audio Effects, Max Audio Effect, and drop them in here. I've got this one on my desktop. Drag and drop it. That's installed, essentially. You know what I mean? Now, if you've downloaded a MIDI effect, come into Presets, MIDI Effects, Max MIDI Effect, and drop it in there. Now, if you've downloaded an instrument, again, Presets, Instruments, Max Instrument, and put it right there. That's all there is to it. You want to take your AMXD file and drop it inside of your User Library Presets folder in whichever folder it belongs. Instruments, Audio Effects, MIDI Effects. Okay? So that's it. I hope that makes sense. Keep rocking, and we'll see you in the next video.